Hello, everyone. I'm Dawei Liu. I'm the associate professor, the pre-doc program director, and the research director at the Department of Orthodontics, Marquette University School of Dentistry. Today, I'm happy to share with you a short video summary of our paper to be published on the April issue of AGODO in 2013. The title is Dimensional Changes of Upper Airway After Rapid Maxillary Expansion, a Prospective CBCT Study. Rapid maxillary expansion army is commonly used in orthodontics to correct the maxillary transverse deficiency. By nature, RME produces orthopedic expansion, alveolar bending, and orthodontic tipping. Recent years, orthodontists are becoming more interested in knowing the orthopedic effect of RME on the surrounding tissues, including the airway. Because airway problems, for example, the obstructive sleep apnea syndrome, can significantly reduce the life quality However, previous studies on the airway are limited by the 2D structures. With the help of cone beam CT technology, airway problems have been studied three-dimensionally, but the results from different studies are controversial. Therefore, the aim of our study is to use CBCT 3D images to revisit the question, does RME really affect airway? Our study sample consists of 14 orthodontic patients. To expand maxilla, we used a Hyrax appliance and activated one turn a day for a consecutive 28 days. So CBCT scans were taken at T1 before RME and T2 after RME, two time points. The maxillary expansion was measured between the mid-lingual place at the first molar and first premolar levels. Based on previous reports, in this study we defined the upper airway between two planes the superior plane from PNS to Bayesian, which was oriented to be parallel to the floor, and the inferior plane, the horizontal line, tangent to the superior point of epiglottis. To evaluate the specific sections of the airway, the upper airway was further divided into two segments, the ritual palatal and ritual glossal airways, by a horizontal plane crossing the most posterior and inferior point of soft palate. To evaluate the airway changes, we measured both the cross-sectional areas and the volumes at the design levels. As a result, we found that RME produced an equal amount of expansion at the first molar and first premolar levels. For the airway, all the measurements showed huge standard deviations, suggesting big variability from patient to patient. Among all the airway variables, only the cross-sectional area of the richer palate airway at the superior level gained a significant increase by about 60% uh, after RME therapy. In summary, our findings confirm previous studies of the effect of rapid maxillary expansion on maxilla. Additionally, we found that only the cross-sectional area of the upper airway at the posterior nasal spine to basium level significantly gains a moderate level of increase after RME. Thanks for watching.